to show you uh, grouping. So let's open a setup file I've already created. And in this file I have uh, groups defined for all my pens. So when you have these groups set up, when you open the file it uh, collapses each group except for the uh, first entry. And if I want to expand all the groups I would click this area here so now all the uh, groups are expanded and I can collapse one group at a time by clicking into this uh, symbol on the left. So what's the purpose of a group? Well first off um, you can make your setup a little bit more compact so it isn't just this overwhelming list of uh, variables so things are a bit organized and let's say you had some vibration or shaft monitoring and you just didn't care about it for this uh, session when you deselect or disable uh, with the group collapsed it disables all the pens within that uh, group so that's handy another thing that's handy is uh, when you create a new plot you can select a group and it'll deselect everything that is not in that group. So that's a way to create a, a new plot just uh, using those groups. So uh, this new plot that I've created is just the uh, process variables and I can of course add more pens to it if I want from other groups. It doesn't have to remain just that process group. Okay, so that's grouping. Uh, let's say we created a new pen and um, let's browse items. Create a new pen. And let's see, where are we? Takes a little bit of time for the first browse. Okay, so here's the program organization. We'll go into a pretty simple one. How about this compressor seal? No, that's not so great. It doesn't have any analogs. Let's do this one here. Okay, so now we have some analog values. Uh, let's say seal gas DP. So I double click that. It created a new pen and um, no group was associated with it uh, because it wasn't next to a group with a name. So I could create a new group name here, and if I created another pen right below it, second browse is always much faster. And let's uh, put in the buffer air DP. Oh, okay, well, I guess it didn't recognize that yeah okay it's got to be inside of um, a group an existing group before it gives it a default name or assigns that group name to it so in this case I could just make same and now I have two new pens in this seal group so that's grouping um, now let's talk about customizing the display with a unit so if I double click in this area here or just click into it, I should say. I have the option to assign a custom text down in this uh, footer area. And I'm going to set a color for the footer. And this is handy because if you have multiple strip chart programs running, uh, let's say you're troubleshooting two or three machines at the same time, uh, this is uh, nice to avoid uh, mixing up uh, the machines and uh, gives you a quick visual indicator what uh, unit you're looking at with that color coding. All right, um, another advanced feature, auto mapping tags. Well, first I'm going to get rid of these. Okay, so this set of pens is a reference to a topic called Ignacio T-130. This is a Solar Titan 130 uh, gas turbine. So let's say I really like this setup and I want to use it for another machine. But the problem with um, 
Solar is that they rename these files for revision control. So this fuel routine with these code letters and numbers is going to change from unit to unit, uh, especially with uh, differences in time. So um, first thing I'm going to do is change the topic. But if I just did that, I would uh, probably not be able to find all these different variables because of the program name changes. Let's give an example. If I want to change all the topics, I can either edit, or excuse me, uh, yeah, find and replace, which is Control H, or just Control H, and that opens up this dialog, find and replace, and it assumes you're going to uh, replace the topic because that's normally what you would do in a find and replace. So I'm going to uh, switch to another unit that I have a topic set up for in RS Links. So this topic has to exist for this to work. I hit enter, it jumps me down to the replace all button. Uh, so if I hit enter again or just click the button, it will replace all those T130 topics with M100. So now I've got a new topic, but the problem is uh, that topic doesn't support all these tags. These values have changed for the fuel um, program revision and all the other programs. So there is a way to deal with that, and that's uh, auto map tags. So when I click this, what it's going to do is, in that new topic, start looking for all the uh, tags. So it started at the top. The first tag was analog underscore ngp, and uh, it found or it took this old tag and converted it to the new tag HOOG underscore 311. So it was able to um, figure out where this NGP tag was in the new program name structure. So it did that with a lot of different tags except for that one. It did not find a match for gas fuel flow. So uh, I would have to go into the program structure and browse around till I found what tag would uh, correspond to gas fuel flow. Probably something like AN underscore gas fuel flow. So since it couldn't find it, it just disabled fuel flow pen. In some cases, it found an exact match. So that meant that there was no change at all in that program revision, and it was able to find that variable verbatim. So at the end, it tells you it's done. Seven pens were matched exactly, 18 were converted, and just that one was uh, missed. So the one that was missed was fuel flow, and it was turned off automatically. So now I should be able to sample with the new unit and collect data. And sure enough, it's sampling. This particular unit isn't running. I would probably want to uh, identify the new unit and give it a different color and that's how you convert uh, from one setup to another.